uh, P13 because I'm going to use an O13 cutter for the job. So I'm going to hold the Alt key down and click on P13. That way, that's the only thing that I can select. Then I'm going to go to Engrave and go to Output. And I'm going to mirror it left and right. And click on Engrave. Okay, and it's sent over to the engraver. And it's still at the new home, but I want to turn on auto run, which is F2, F2. And auto run should work. I should get a limit light there. Okay. And the job is here. And all I got to do is just press the start button. like it wasn't quite deep enough so I'm gonna increase the depth probably another ten thousandths so I'm gonna go so that would be a total of twenty thousandths depth and I'm gonna hit start again So this looks like a, a finished product. I don't know how deep you go or or what width of cutter is typically utilized, but I would guess this is going to give it a pretty good impression. I didn't do it on this side, but obviously I I could have. I was this is my first run at it. Okay.